right back at you with another set of keys that will help you unlock your doors in life and in business. This one is simply titled, You Are What You Post. You are what you post. The reason why I say that is it reminds me of a situation that happened uh, not too long ago. As many of you know, I'm an entrepreneur and one of the avenues that I'll walk down is photography. And we had posted an ad on Facebook looking for photographers and we threw out some of the specifics, some of the little things that we're looking for in terms of you need your own camera, you need your own gear, you need to have understanding of lighting, things that are pretty normal in the world of photography. And a young man responded to the ad. And as he responded, we started to engage in conversation. And at some point we asked him to see some photos. So we're always asking for either photos to be sent over or links to websites so we can take a look at photos. After that, then we'll determine if we want to actually interview you or not. And it's more than likely going to be some type of online interview. So we wanted to go this route, but I also want to take a look at his social media post, because as we're trying to establish some type of relationship, whether it's just for the sake of the interview or whether it goes further and we're going to start working together some capacity, I want to try to cut down on the learning curve and I want to figure out who you are. I don't know you. You don't know me. So I like to look through social media posts to get an understanding or an idea, if you will, of who you are how you tick, what you, how you think about certain things, because you, ultimately you are what you post. And as I started to dig around this gentleman's social media post, I found some derogatory things uh, and some things that were just concerning. And so what I figured I'd do is I'd set him up. So I said to him, I said, do you stand by everything that you post or you repost or that you like, or that you put a heart beside, do you stand by all of those things? And he said, oh, absolutely, 100%. So I said, okay. And I'm thinking that's the response I was hoping that I would get. And then I showed him the picture of uh, the derogatory uh, things that I saw and said, so can you explain to me what this is all about? Then he went into, oh, well, you know, that was back when I was in high school. You know, I'm, I'm not that type of person anymore. And I explained to him, I, I understand, you know, I hear you. I understand the English language pretty well and can get a pretty good grasp of the spin that you're trying to take on it. But you posted this. So you are what you post. So if you're posting things that make you appear to be a, as a racist, then you are what you post. If you're posting things to say that you don't like, uh, this particular sect or this particular uh, origin or you don't like women or whatever have you, then you are what you post. And so as to make it short, we went down this road. He actually responded and say, you know, thanks for stalking me. And, and so I'm like, dude, really? This is the stuff that you posted. Like I didn't go to your house or, or dig through your trash or, or follow you going to and from the store was stuff that you posted for the whole world to see. So you can't be mad at me as a potential employer for looking through the stuff that you posted and coming up with a conclusion of who I think you are. I didn't say that this is who you are because we know that it can be fictional in terms of how you represent yourself in the social media world. But when you're posting things and you're liking things uh, that are clear and derogatory, then you are just that, you are what you post. So I said that because as parents, we should know these things and as they relate to our own lives, but especially how it relates to the lives of our children. You should make sure the things that you're posting are fair and clear representations of yourself. And don't be upset when someone calls you out on something that you posted or something that you liked or something that you're aligning yourself with. There is no separation when an employer is looking at you and they're looking at your social media profile. Doesn't matter if they're looking at your Facebook page, if your IG page, uh, TikTok, MySpace, I mean, whatever's new, whatever's, whatever's old, people are going to judge you by the things that you post. And just because you go and you delete it, uh, doesn't mean that somebody didn't save it or somebody didn't repost it. Just think about those things as it pertains to your everyday life. Uh, the school setting, 
the workplace, potential workplace, uh, potential clients, potential business moves. Think about those things that you post. Someone's going to see it because that's why you posted it, because you wanted someone to see it. And generally, if you wanted someone to see it, you also wanted somebody to acknowledge it, maybe for someone to chime in, uh, for someone to reach out to you on the side and convey, you know, they feel the same way. They think the same way. This may be your thinking. But again, you are what you post.